It's time for Recipe of the Day. Ever since my mom was on this show telling us how she makes her best coleslaw, and then she ended up telling us a whole bunch of other delicious things to make with cabbage, I have been obsessed with cabbage and doing all kinds of things with it. She is totally right. She said she always buys a head of cabbage when she's grocery shopping because it keeps good in the fridge for longer than all the other vegetables. So when she's at the end of her like grocery shop, when it's about time to go grocery shopping again, a lot of the other vegetables will have been used up or maybe not in their prime. The cabbage is always nice and you can add it to soups. You can have it as a side dish, braise it, all kinds of things you can do with cabbage. Oh, you can just put it raw in salads. So cabbage is a great thing to buy. And I have tested and found out that it is wonderful cooked in the air fryer. Now I will say that when I search for air fryer cabbage recipes, a lot of them have like wedges of cabbage or like thick slices. And I totally try that. The thing was that it was hard to fit them all in there and they didn't get as tender in the middle as I wanted. And then some of them didn't hold together. So like the idea of having these wedges or slices didn't make a ton of sense. I did find that leaving the core in them helped to hold them together. But then you have this big chunk of core that you don't want to eat that's taking up space in your air fryer. So I, I did test it. I tried it, but I found that it worked way better with chopped cabbage. So then how much chopped cabbage do you need? It's about six cups of cabbage that's been roughly chopped. And that's going to be about half of a head of green cabbage, like a medium sized head. You could also use Napa or red cabbage. They are both great in here. Alternatively, you can buy a bag of the coleslaw mix or shredded cabbage. It's usually 14 to 16 ounces. That is going to work exactly the same. You're just going to have longer shreds instead of the chopped. And those shreds are going to cook a little bit more quickly than the chopped cabbage. Okay, so now this recipe actually starts with a little sweet butter sauce that has caraway seed in it, and the sweetness helps some of the caramelization to happen for the cabbage, and it's it's just really tasty. You do not have to do all of that, though. You can just do the butter, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So let me tell you what you're doing. You are getting out a large bowl, and you are adding to it two tablespoons of melted butter, a tablespoon of honey, half a teaspoon of caraway seeds, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Mix that all up. Now, if you don't want to do all of that, you don't have to. You can skip the honey and the caraway, but I would still do two tablespoons of butter or of olive oil, some kind of cooking oil, and then the half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon garlic powder, eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. You need the seasoning and you also do need some kind of fat. The cabbage is going to dry out from that convection fan in the air fryer otherwise, and you don't want that. I did test just spraying the cabbage with cooking spray to make like a lighter version, and that worked. The cabbage cooked nicely. It just didn't taste as good because, you know, there was no butter in there, but it'll work for sure if that's what you want to do as well. Okay, so if you are going to be spraying your cabbage, then you're just going to do that, toss it all together, and then put it in the air fryer, or you are combining all of those ingredients that I told you about, and then you are adding your six cups of chopped cabbage or the shredded from the bag, and you stir that all around to coat it, and then transfer it to the air fryer basket. Give the basket a shake just to distribute the cabbage evenly, and then set your air fryer to cook at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for eight minutes. At that point, the cabbage will be like tender, crisp, and a little bit browned in places. I actually like mine quite a bit more tender with a little bit more caramelization. And so if you are like me, you're going to cook it for another three to five minutes. Just give the air fryer basket a little shake first and then pop it back in there for a little bit longer. At that point, it should be really tender, a little bit caramelized in spots. Give it a taste, add a little bit more salt if you'd like. I usually do want a little more salt at that point and then serve. It makes enough for about three to four people. Okay, I will put the link to this recipe in the show notes for this podcast episode, or you can head to cookthestory.com slash ROTD and get it there. The episodes are arranged by date, so it's helpful for you to know that this is the episode for March 5th, 2024. If you want to make sure you never miss an episode and get them all in your podcast feed every single day, seven days a week, go to wherever you listen to podcasts, search for Recipe of the Day and follow or subscribe there. I'm Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook and from this podcast, Recipe of the Day. I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking. 